in this one I'm going to show you guys the best settings in my opinion for the GTX 1060 6 gigabyte set it right down there now you want to find a good balance between performance and uh, stability so every game you're playing isn't like crashing I found these to be about the best settings so power limit I put that all the way up which if you put the mess around with this then the temp limit will go up but it never goes past 92 you want it about 86 for the average GPU temperature for max once you guys make these changes just hit apply and it'll be directly changed so a core clock I have at 125 I had it at about 150 and my PC was fine but when I opened up games it kept kinda crashing so I just put that down to 125 seems to work pretty good then memory clock I put it up to 350 I found that was about the best uh, performance and then fan speed, you'll have to click on settings and manually change this. So have to go up here and then hit uh, custom, then force fan speed update on each period. They can just kind of mess around with this, drag it up and down, whatever you need to do. So, yeah. And then you can adjust the fan speed right here. I wouldn't put it at 100, I put it about, I'd say anywhere from 95 to 85. I'm at about 88 right now. And you also don't have to have this app open when you're playing games. You can just hit startup and it will automatically do that. But don't click startup until you got a for sure uh, overclock that you want so it's not crashing your computer. Because if you set it too high, your computer is just going to keep crashing over and over. And it'll be very hard to open it. I'll leave MSI Afterburner. Download the link in the description. Also, uh, Haven Benchmark, I'll leave that in the description down below. If you guys want to try to overclock uh, past my settings, go a little bit further to get extra performance. Uh, make sure when you open up Haven Benchmark that full screen's off, so then you're able to go ahead and uh, change the settings in there. So pretty much once you get into Haven Benchmark, you want to go top left where it says Benchmark, and then it will start the benchmarking. And then you want to pull up MSI Afterburner. And then what I did was for Core Clock, I added 25 to that until the thing crashed and then moved it down 25. My game started crashing at 150, so then I moved it back to 125. And then Memory Clock, I didn't want to go anything past 400 just to be safe. So yeah, once you guys are done with that, messing around with the settings and stuff. Uh, all you gotta do is just go down and click the check mark. And you can just manually type in what you want, click on it, and then type it in and hit enter. And then yeah, you guys should be all good to go. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys a comparison of the Haven benchmark that I did before overclocking and after overclocking. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll leave you with this.